Hi, I'm Rick Franks. This is the all new Ford Grand C-Max and we're in the Côte d'Azur in France to put some performance enhancing technology to the test. Today, we're focusing on torque vectoring control, technology usually associated with exotic sports cars. Designed to help the front wheels grip and steer better in corners or slippery conditions, which is handy because today we're off to the Col du Vence, a steep mountain pass with lots of bends and some big drops. Now Ford offers torque vectoring control on new Fiesta, new C-Max and this the new Grand C-Max. And the best way to describe it is a sophisticated form of traction control. Traditional traction control systems work by limiting engine power when wheel spin is detected. Now it's effective, but it can feel a bit frustrating, especially when you're pushing on. Torque vectoring control is much smarter. Instead of strangling the engine, it uses the brakes to nip wheel spin in the bud. Now if it detects a wheel is about to lose grip, the system gently breaks that wheel back down to the speed it should be at. This not only increases traction in the direction of travel, but it also restores the guiding force or steering ability of the tyre. Now this new Grand C-Max is powered by Ford's latest generation 2.0-litre Duratorque diesel engine, which pushes 163 PS through the front wheels. But look, even on really twisty sections, on a damp surface, I can floor the throttle, and there's no wheel spin and no torque steer. Torque vectoring control is particularly effective in icy conditions or damp conditions such as these. And because it works by applying a very gentle braking force, it has negligible impact on brake wear and can actually reduce tyre wear. Ford has a deserved reputation for producing cars with great handling and performance. This torque vectoring control system makes a supercar even more rewarding and safer to drive. Bye for now.